We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Nothing like try and make, make sure a, a killer safe. aware that we're on them. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're all counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. The same one as before, but it's fine. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna <laughs> kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... It's Mr. Brightside. He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Moody. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... I can understand it, honestly, sometimes. Anyway, he's just a killer, Mr. Brightside. I... It does kind of feel that way, yeah. Wow, the music got louder. And he's come back tonight. He looted the air tonight. We call it. Oh. And it was. Well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him and jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. We're on the, right. I've never the played story. Dead by Daylight, so I don't understand that reference. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I like the music. We'll do our best. Alright. Copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit! <sighs> Peggy's far too upbeat. Not, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Is it 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 no, people. 35 people. At best. What's more indignant for him? 35 at best. 35 at best? 35, yeah. What's the population of Gallows Creek? Like a thousand. I don't know exactly. <laughs> a little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Wonder why I got moved. My career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big guests could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. Five thousand on the low end? I don't need to Five million. Million? No, what, what did he fuck up? That's just the way it goes. Did he do a Philip Schofield? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have that a too soon. Again. I don't know. Take it when you're ready. <laughs> like, that could be too soon. I don't like how it just cuts off the music, but okay. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Never like a call that starts like this. Never. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Late, late listeners, you know. <laughs> Start all my calls. What's your name and why are you calling? I hope not. You know my name. Do we? I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Um. This is funny because they would be like me, I would be the worst whistling man killer because <laughs> it's all I can do. So uh 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, but I do. You must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me. Sense, he says a little bit like all oh, from The Simpsons. And when do we want them? I mean, no. I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. I wouldn't mind cheese dusted pretzels. Pretzels. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, Someone's on the munches. We also want a mega gulp. Yay, a mega gulp. Just tuning in. We do, in fact, have an actual. My number nine. Out of What's the number nine? Tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Oh God, this now is a bit more upbeat. Go with the flow, and this is their hit. And they're both dead, probably. Yeah. Hey, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town. It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. The show must go on, apparently. Alright. <laughs> Let's do this. Sounds <laughs> great. Have a call waiting. Okay, take the call. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay. Right away? Well, and she I'm sounds she sounds like someone. Who? I know that hey, voice. What's your trouble? And I think she's Canadian? Is that a Canadian accent? I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Oh no, Sandra! Hand. Oh god, it's actually happening. She's, boot. she's not in a boot yet. Oh. Jazz run. Wait up for a jazz run? What what is that? What is it? It's jazz running, baby. And I got my butt all the way back to my car before I got flashed. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never lock the door, at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there else you can go? Else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh. Look, I don't know anything about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. Oh. And you're gonna have to help. I don't want to hot wire a car. I don't. Well, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Alright. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host. Hmm. Mechanic. I don't know how to hot wire a car. Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you. This will pump, pump. Okay, we're, we'll play the rest of this one then. I will not introduce it this time. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I, I find that soon. I know. They got really Top blue and spliced the yellow and tab positive anyway, problem. Go see the last one. Is that true? They're out the door and down the hall. Wait, wait. 
but Did you find anything? No. Some more to do before I can leave. What? Yeah. Not yet. I'm gonna keep looking. In the hall. In the hall? I'm not getting in there tonight. Not that hall. Green and red, what did I do? So many locked doors, so few keys. Okay. Why is the music going creepy? Oh, that's bright. Press the streams and hope. The creepy error. Investigate. No, E to investigate. That uh, doesn't help. Chilipacabra. Ch Ch we all agree that the flavor profiles of Chilipacabra are the best in town. Despite being a pricey option, offer no deals. The El Diablo Burrito has the best mouthfeel, and those Huevos Rancheros are just excellent. For another time, it's an audio medium. We won't get its egg. An excellent idea. Okay. Put it on. Dear Bradley Carr, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. Oh, free samples of garlic bread. Find your latest offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them on air. Thrilling Spree's new offer is terrible and we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three hour roasted pizza. Much love. Hey, I hate garlic bread. I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out though. Hey. Excuse me. Sorry. Twins, I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those whoever's rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Someone got the shits. Ah. Ah. On his accent. What one's Pony? That's bad with names. I need a key to get in. Okay, we need a key in the toilet, I'm guessing. Why is the the music hating me? Pizza guy. Pizza guy? Not met the pizza guy. Yeah. I don't think. This looks useful. We have not called for pizza yet. We've just started. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no. Oh no. It's one where I have to be good at. Keyless entry technique. Screwdriver is key if that fails. Remove the steering column cover. Check the serial number, then strip and twist along the following wires together. If there's a 4 before a 3 and a number 7 and a number, red and blue. If there's a 6 anywhere and doesn't start with a 5, green and brown. If there's a 0 at the end and a 3 doesn't come before a 6, red and yellow. Strip the purple wire, do not touch this live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step 3. The radio turns on and won't turn off. Cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. The alarm is sounding. Cut the triple braided green wire, not the double braided green wire. Or the quadruple braided green wire. Doing so will mess with the electronics. Just like that is how you do it, huh? Did you find anything? Yeah, I 
found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Why did that press play? Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Come on. How do we start this baby? Uh, Remove the steering column cover. Wait. Yeah. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Oh, of course it wouldn't work for us time like. Hammer that always works. Okay. <laughs> always. Do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. What's the serial number on? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Five seven six. Right. Wait now. The four before a three and number seven number. The sex hammer doesn't start with a five. Okay. Wait. There's a four before a three. And no and no seven. Oh right, okay. So if there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Right. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow. And we, we twist, twist and, and we, we turn. turn. Big smile. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Strip the purple wire. Brush against the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. And we brush, and we turn, and we twirl, and we. Fantastic work, baby. Get your ass out of there. You want to come down to the jazz studio? You get in for Go, go, go. Just keep driving. Just keep, Just keep driving, swimming. Okay? Just keep swimming. Get home Just safe. Get home swimming, safe, Sandra. Swimming. Will do, babies. Chief, booked out of that parking lot. Which. Keep talking and nobody dies is the that we're ja excited oh, I could put it there. to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on Over the Killers out. Mm -hmm. Monday to Friday at five. Take it away, Forrest. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I still can't believe this is happening. Right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. I like this, June. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Peg Peggy is too, too happy a country live in the thing. Really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and... Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Some folks have been okay. Yes, some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible. You think they're gonna time. fall in love through all this? Is coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. 
Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Probably going to be able to yeah, re repeat the stream. Be a good idea. Scream. Twelve forty-two. That's a weird timestamp. Caller on line one. Oh, goody. That song's really long though. When you're ready, shut the music off. I thought I did. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Boris. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. We've met the pizza guy. We've met the pizza guy. Hello, Brian. What have you got to say about what's happening? so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just a little something to look forward to when all this is this a Scottish Brian, accent? Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. By a real Scottish so person. Good of you. you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. Oh no, sounded genuine. I right, what what do you make in Scottish if you're there? Do you think that was a genuine American uh, a genuine Scottish accent? No idea, that's why I asked. Okay. So Scottish people have this thing when they speak in games and TV shows and stuff where they put on a Scottish accent that you'd never hear in the wild in Scotland. So it's very hard to tell. I don't know why anybody didn't speak like that. Pony, yeah. Like, no, we're going to try and save him, Smolder. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. We're all stressed here. Thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous... Beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it! You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Well, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. He started oh, to sound like Billy like Connolly at the end ad? there. It's probably time we played a paid ad. Now a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Nope. 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 In flight check time. Oh, my oh Christ. Our <laughs> captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Done. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is this? Wisdom. Do you want to double your power? This is so Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only 24.99. Jesus! Step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Isn't there a guy who master... Never forget the element of surprise! 
If you buy today, you'll receive two additional. <laughs> Lock my ultimate power. The tornado technique. Oh, I know the tornado technique. Karate love me. Call today. Um. There's. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Oh, no. Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them. I might watch that's me. I wouldn't actually spend my money on it, but if I could get it for free. Sure is something. I uh. Is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal! Only twenty four ninety nine, and I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Oh no. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like, maybe leave a comment, subscribe to the channel maybe, and I'll see you next time on Killer Frequency.